Uh, bruising running back mm -hmm. Frank Gore yeah. has officially retired. Longtime 49ers running back signed a one day contract with the team to retire a 49er. He is third, JP, in the history of the NFL in rushing yards with an even 16,000, which is pretty cool. I'm going to ask you this question. As the third leading rusher in the history of the NFL, is Frank Gore a Hall of Famer? I think so. I, I think his body of work proves it. Uh, I was around this guy actually in Indianapolis. Uh, got to know him a little bit. Spend some time around and watch the way that he works. Now, you were combing through the stats mm -hmm. earlier. And what was it? Nine seasons that he had where he went uh, above 1,000 yards. That's pretty impressive. But then the year that I was with him in 2017 in Indianapolis, I was telling this story. Frank Gore would come into the facility during the week. And this man could barely walk. He looked just as raggedy as could be. Did not practice all week, just sat in the training room, worked on his body so he could go out on the field and produce on Sundays. In that year, as raggedy as he looked during the week, he ran for 961 yards. This is a man who put his heart and soul into the game of football. It's reflected in the stats. He was one of the best at the position, Hall of Famer indeed. Not raggedy. Though. That's what he looked like. He didn't play <laughs> like that. But during the week, this I don't know how this man ever no, made it to you. a football field. It you. was wild. No, I think long longevity isn't celebrated enough in sports. And when you look at a, foot, uh, a sport like football where your body is banged up, you talked about how he would limp around the facility and still come out there and, and have a good performance on Sundays. As the third leading rusher in the NFL, I do think that Frank Gore is a Hall of Famer eventually. He might not be on the first ballot, but eventually he mm -hmm. will get in. And I don't think all um, guys who compile stats like that are created equal because in sure. baseball, you have a guy like Jamie Moyer <laughs> who pitched well over 20 years, debuted in 86, retired in 2012. That's a long time was a all-star at 40 years of age JP 269 wins in his career really good uh, but at the same time he pitched over 20 seasons <laughs> 2400 strikeouts that's great but had a career uh, ERA over four so the numbers don't always tell the story there